Alright, so in Kotlin we have a thing called a singleton object. A singleton object is an object that has one instance for the entire project. For example, we may use a singleton object to store utility methods to use throughout the entire application. And you do not want to create a new instance every time just for you know helper functions. So we don't have to recreate an object or create an instance of an object like employee for Giovanni and Jim and and all that we can just have one instance of that object for the entire application so this is perfect for things like utility objects which have helper functions that can be used from throughout the application so let's create one for you know management we'll have this new utility object singleton object and we're gonna call it that building util go down to object and now we have a singleton object and now we can start creating some properties that we can use from anywhere so now let's make a property that holds the rent amount for a standard rent fee so let's do eval standard fee and it's gonna be a double we're gonna make this equal to a thousand and what is this swiggly saying property standard fees never used we are going to then we're going to make one for deluxe so file deluxe fee is double oops and we're going to make this double actually so we're going to make it two thousand perfect now what if we want to return a you know value for the amount that rent will cost for a year or a certain amount of months we we'll have a parameter that taking the amount of months that we want to see and then we'll return the value times that you know type so we'll just do fun cost of deluxe per or let's do rates deluxe rate and then we're going to take in the months as the parameter and we're going to do int open it up and then we'll just return rent amount times it by the months or my bad deluxe fee and we're going to make this return a double and that's only if months is greater than zero so we don't want anyone passing in you know <laughs> negative value that that will cause problems so we'll have that check um, I've got to put a open records right here or curly braces right here and then we can have an else and it turns zero if you know anything else so perfect if the month is greater than zero, so I'm assuming one, then we can just return deluxe fee times the amount of months. If not, then we'll just return 0, .0. Um, zero. Or you could just return an exception or throw an exception. But in this case, I'll just return zero. And we'll do the same thing for the cost of the standard fee. In a realistic scenario, you'll probably have you know a list and then you just check for the type, but we'll just do it this way. And then cost, and then months, and then standard fee. So now we have two functions. We have one that returned the deluxe rate based on the amount of months that you, you know, intend on, you know, staying, and then the cost of the standard rate depending on the cost uh, or the months that you intend on staying, and we'll times that against the standard fee. So now we have a building utility singleton object and now this is going to be used from anywhere or can be used from anywhere within the application so let's go into our main and we're just going to come all this out again and then let's print out what if we want to stay or actually first of all let's make this private by the way because we don't want this to be changed from the outside 
we only want it to be seen within this building util we should only be able to change the rates nobody else um, so then we just go into this print len now we make a call to the object we don't have to create an instance but we can just take a reference of the building util and then use dot notation to see what we have inside of building util and we can see the cost of the deluxe rate and cost of the standard rate I want to see how long it or how much it will cost to stay at a uh, deluxe room or in a deluxe room for 12 months now let me see let's put this in string notation um, or string template um, and make a nice little prompt so the deluxe rate to stay for 12 months is and then put a little dollar sign and then close that and then actually put an actual dollar sign in front of it so two dollar signs um, and then we should be good to go so now we know or now we can see how much it will cost to stay at our apartments or hotel or whatever building for 12 months using the utility object boom so to stay at the stay at a uh, building at a deluxe rate it will cost twenty four thousand dollars twelve thousand or twelve times two thousand is twenty four thousand quick maths and I just copy that and we'll do the same thing for the standard And that's going to be 12 months. The standard rate to stay for 12 months is, and then let's see how much that would cost. It should be half, so 12,000. So isn't that cool? Like we don't have to create a new instance of a class to get some functionality. We can create a singleton object that is the same throughout the whole application. We only have to make, uh, you know, one instance of it, um, and we can just reference it by using dot notation, and we can have access to whatever utility functions that we need or that we created. So this is perfect. And we do have the option to inherit. So we could, I mean, we're not gonna do this, but look, we have the option to inherit if needed. We can pass in the market price, but obviously in this case, it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't make sense to inherit from building. But if you do have um, a, a management class, we can create a new management class and, and inherit from management and you know, maybe they have their own um, implementations that we need to inherit or um, override, such as, you know, maybe management have a discount functionality, uh, maybe place contacts inside of it for executives or management or other um, hotels or buildings. So things like that, you just use your creativity, build those relationships and, you know, just code.